Hey all, in this beginner actor video, I'm gonna talk about hitting your mark. And I'm not talking about punching a guy named Mark in the face. I'm gonna talk about what a mark is for both film and stage and how you can hit your mark effectively, some tips and tricks. So if you're an experienced film actor or stage actor and you already know all about this, this might not be the video for you and I'll see you on the next one. So why do actors need marks in film and television? Let's just talk about that first. First of all, it's usually due to camera framing. You wanna make sure that you're stepping into the position where you're properly framed in the camera. And second of all, camera focus. You wanna make sure that you're in focus when you step into frame. But also marks are used to indicate where an actor starts in the scene and where they travel to in a scene and where they end in a scene. And because when you do film, you take multiple takes, you do your long shots and the medium shots, your close-ups, the trick shots and all that stuff, and they need to be consistent. So whenever a scene is staged, the actor is given marks that are on the floor usually, and then they have to be able to go back to one, go back and reset to those original marks. Now, have you ever seen a film where the characters are in a library, the, the camera's peeking through the crack of, of a row of books? That is a time when you really have to be on your mark. And other times you'll have to run into a shot and stop right uh, where you're in frame or in focus. You might have to have a mark if you are walking along and you suddenly drop your books because you need to be in a certain place where the book drop happens. And so those are all the reasons why we have marks. So in film, what does a mark look like? Sometimes your mark is marked on the ground with, you know, like a, a line in the dirt or a rock or a stone if you're outside. And sometimes it's taped to the ground with a piece of, of colored tape that's shaped like a T. You put your feet on either side of that line and the toes are about where the, the top of the T is. And other times there's little plastic T's that they just throw down of various colors. Each color would represent a different actor or a different position that that actor is in. And while we're on the subject, I have an augmented actor T-shirt that you can buy kind of humorous, it says, I know where I stand, and it has a little T mark on the t-shirt. Isn't that funny? All right, enough of that. So you've got these marks on the ground and they're gonna tell you where you need to stand, where you need to go. Now the trick for you as an actor is you are walking into your mark, you cannot look down to see where your mark is. So you have to kind of know where your mark is instinctively. It's just there to mark the space that you need to land in, but it's your job as an actor to get to that space without indicating that you're looking down at the ground. Now, of course, if you're a depressed character, you can always look down at the ground and then like mope your line back up. But most of us have some action, something we're doing that uh, that we need to be uh, believable in. So you don't want to look down. You don't even want to look down for a split second with your eyes or it gives away that you're looking for a mark. If you're walking into a mark, there's a couple of ways you can accomplish that. First of all, you can look at your mark and get it in your head before the shot starts and then just walk into it. But what I recommend is whenever you have marks, go and stand in your mark and then notice what is around you in your periphery. It could be a boom mic, it could be a light up above, or a tree, or a piece of furniture. That will give you a better sense of where your mark is. The mark just indicates where you need to go to, but you need to be able to see it up here. Sometimes you're walking up to another person and you just need to be a certain distance from that person. And if you have to hit a really precise mark and you don't maybe have a lot around you, what I recommend is during blocking rehearsals, once you're given your blocking, stand on your mark, turn around and walk how many ever steps you need to go to your other mark in the speed and cadence that your character would be walking in for the scene and count how many steps you have and walk it a few times and just try hitting it. This is a good way to sort of get it in your bone. It's not that hard, but sometimes your mark is very, very, very precise and you need to kind of nail it. And if you don't hit your mark exactly, don't let it screw up your take. Just try to adjust into the mark and let the director call cut. Don't say, oh, I missed my mark, I got, I got to do it again. Let the director make that decision to cut. Always let the director say cut. You never say cut. That's pretty much it for film and television marks. Let's move on to stage marks. So if you're on stage, and you're in a play, for instance, there's no music, no dancing, choreography, anything like that, it's pretty easy to hit your mark. It's all going to be in the blocking. You just usually use the stage directions, downstage left, downstage right, upstage, center stage, that sort of thing. You get a sense of where you are in relationship to the other actors, where they are on the stage, or in relationship to the set. If there's furniture or set pieces, you can kind of see where you are in relation to those. Now there's also tape on the ground often for set pieces to, to land in the right place, and 
for people sometimes to land in the right place for like I say a spotlight comes on them. So make sure you know where those marks are. The most important thing with theater shows is that you're in your light. Lighting is the way that a stage director focuses the audience's attention in a play. So it's like framing and focus in a camera, but you're, you're doing it on stage with lighting. So lighting is the most important reason why we need to hit our marks. Now, if it's a, a play that takes place on one set and the lights are up the whole time, great. You have a lot more flexibility about where to go. But if it's a more intimate play or there's a lot of lighting effects, you wanna make sure that you have feel light on your face. If you don't feel that, you're probably not in the light. And if you're in a musical theater show, it's gonna be a little bit of a more complex game, especially if you're dancing and doing a lot of choreography. You will notice in almost every musical theater that's on a proscenium arch stage that there are numbers along the front of the stage it usually starts with zero in the in the center of the stage and then you have two four six eight as it moves out and that marks every two feet what you do when you're staging a musical theater number you want to have balance you want to make sure that everybody is you know synchronized and balanced on the stage and it has like pretty pictures and whatnot so each person is assigned a number on that line and that's how uh, a director can balance a stage picture so if you're doing musical dance not only do you have to remember your singing and your dancing and all the different moves but you have to remember where you are on the number track at all times, every moment, every beat of the song. Now the numbers help spread you along from left to right, but what about depth? You know, you have to know how far back you are. Well, that's where you use the wings. Look at the downstage curtain, the middle curtain, the upstage curtain. And if you don't have curtains, if you're not on a proscenium stage, you might use light racks or doorways or pictures on the walls or whatever it is in your room. Again, you, you find, you, you stand in your space and you see where you are in relationship. And then if all else fails, you need to be in relationship to the people that are around you. So if you're supposed to be in a line, you better make sure you're in the line. And you got to do that looking forward. You can't turn and look at your partner. So it's all about that kinetic sense, that, that sense of spatial awareness. Marks are just that little extra layer of something that you need to think about that's outside of your character that's not uh, that doesn't allow you to focus 100% on your acting performance because you got to be able to hit these marks it's a technical aspect of filmmaking and or stage making so it's just something you have to uh, uh, adapt to and learn how to do and once you do it a few times it'll become second nature to you as it is for most actors I want to mark some people's names on the screen these are my top tier Patreon sponsors they have been consistent supporters of this channel for a long time and I just want to give them a good shout out here and if you would like to become a Patreon sponsor I invite you to patreon.com slash augmented actor and and help support this channel. Now you know how to hit your mark. Hopefully you won't punch a guy named Mark in the face because that would be really mean and not appropriate. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about film set terminology I got a video for you. Click on that and watch it and your day will be so much brighter. Have a good day. I'll see you soon.